everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my, I guess like second round of affordable makeup must-haves or like my second round of affordable makeup favorites. I realized that I haven't done one of these like collective affordable makeup favorites in three years. Like my last video on like just this topic itself was July 7th, 2018. And I know that because I just checked it before I sat down to film this video. Um, so I will link that video down below because I still love those products. I wanted to bring you a more updated version because I'm always loving and trying affordable makeup. And obviously it's been three years. So many launches have come out since then. I'm gonna be talking about products that are newer, some are old, you know, that have existed since then. Um, Cause obviously 2018 is not that long ago. I don't wanna repeat myself because I've already spoken about it before. So I will link that video down below for more affordable makeup haves that are really really great all of these are cruelty free so even better but yeah if you guys want to see my affordable makeup must haves don't forget to please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when i post and without further ado let's go ahead and get on into it i have two primers that i specifically want to mention one of them is older um, i've spoken about this and i think a yearly favorites video before this is the ordinary high adherence silicone primer it's a blurring surface smoother and primer you can get the ordinary at ulta and at sephora on sephora though i believe you can only get it online but this retails for like under five dollars i believe it's like 4.90 i'm almost out of it honestly but i will try to squeeze out a little bit for you it comes out as a consistency of a smoothing thicker silicone primer but it is a high adherence primer meaning that it is going to allow the makeup to adhere to your face as well so you get the best of both worlds you get that smoothing effect you get that gripping effect this is like a go-to travel product of mine because it's the best of both worlds. i have oily skin and i find that this works really really well um to just blur the skin and to grip onto makeup. I don't think you can go wrong with this. It's so affordable and it really does the job of just smoothing your skin, but also like letting your makeup stay on for a long time. And then another one that I just spoke about in a favorites video. So I know this, I haven't had this for that long, but this is so good guys. This is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. This is a dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. And I was actually thinking like, would you guys want me to do like a whole like wear test dupe video maybe i can do half of my face with the mint melt and then the other half of my face with my milk hydro grip um because i think it would be cool to just like put them to the test and do a side by side so let me know if that's something you're interested in because i'm happy to do that i love the packaging this is definitely i think a new go-to primer of mine because it's so cooling it's perfect for the summertime comes out like a little gel consistency and you rub it around and this definitely gets tacky you want to make sure that you don't apply too much of this because it can pill um it's a very thick consistency so less is more with this but once you blend it in and massage it in with your fingertips enough to warm up the product and really just kind of massage it into your skin and let it dry a little bit before you put your makeup on or your foundation on it creates the best thick sticky gripping texture to really allow the makeup to adhere onto your face as well um yeah it says wait 30 seconds before applying which i totally agree you should definitely do that and it is cooling so it's perfect for this time of year okay let's move on to foundations um i have three newer foundations actually three of which i discovered this year because again i didn't want to mention the same products i mentioned in that video so make sure that you check out that video as well so you get a full comprehensive look but let's start off with this guy this is a milani cream to powder foundation i spoke about this in my May favorites. I don't want to go on too much about it because we have a lot of products to go through. So if you want to see me talk in depth about this, go check out that video. I will link it above and below. But essentially, this is a great cream to powder. It really starts off like a cream, like it's emollient, but as you massage it into your skin, it dries down to a powder. It's a very unique formula, super, super cool. It's very buildable. You can have a very light layer and you can build it up to definitely medium to full coverage, which is something I really, really love. The most customizable foundation, honestly, because because you can just truly build it up. It's not gonna give you that one and done right away, but the finish is really, really beautiful, very natural. Speaking of natural, I wanted to give a mention to this because this is something that is perfect for all of you girls or guys who want something that's lightweight, but gives you a little bit of something that's, you know, that's the kind of makeup that's in right now. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer, and I've also spoken about this in a favorites video, but this is awesome. This is the shade Medium 10N, which is honestly a little bit too light for me, but I love this because they have a bunch of different shades. It's not full coverage. It truly is a tinted moisturizer and it has hyaluronic acid. It has coconut water to really help hydrate your skin. But even as someone with oily skin, I don't find that this 
um, makes me too oily. I love mixing this with other foundations and I love just using this on its own. Even with my fingers just massaging it into key areas, it gives me a nice kind of like awake look. It's perfect for every day. If you don't want to shellac a full coverage, this is such a good product because it truly can double as your moisturizer and your like foundation, like not foundation, but like coverage if you want to do a little bit of something, you know? And then last but not least, this is pretty much a similar concept to that but way on the other end of the spectrum in terms of coverage which is why i think both are great and i personally have traveled with both um this is the elf camo cc cream this is color correcting full coverage natural finish with collagen peptides and niacinamide this also has spf 30 the color pop moisturizer does not have spf so definitely put on SPF underneath but this definitely has so this can be your one and done product this though is very very full coverage this is almost foundation like which is something that I personally love and for all of you guys who want to do like a one and done um like full coverage look or like a foundation look when you're going to the office or wherever it may be and you don't want to go in with all these different steps this is a great like moisturizer sunscreen and coverage all in one it's beautiful leaves a really nice um natural to matte finish and yeah I use this on a brush because I I think with my fingers it'd be way too heavy i use this with a brush or a sponge just apply this like you would foundation and i think you would be a okay this is definitely a dupe for the it cosmetics cc cream um this is truly like a you can even see the packaging is like kind of similar i love this i've loved this for so long but i've had this honestly for three years this has kind of like been my replacement like i don't feel like i need to buy this again because i have this so it's a great affordable dupe okay moving on to concealer i have three concealers and two of which i feel like i've spoken about for a couple of years these two I discovered in 2019. This one was 2020. Um, but this is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is a 16-hour matte finish camo concealer. I have the shade Medium Peach. The only gripe I have with this concealer is that this is not medium. This is light. I use this to spot conceal underneath my eyes but i love the doe foot applicator it's one of those fat doe foots you just get a lot of product boom 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 done they also have a radiant finish concealer i personally use the matte finish because i have oily skin the only thing you need to keep in mind with this is that you need to blend it out right away because if you highlight your face and let it sit there it will dry down very very quickly like this is definitely my fastest drying concealer out of all of my concealers drugstore and high-end so just air caution to that you're going to want to make sure you work the product into your skin right when you apply it but once you do it's so beautiful it does last a really really long time and it is very full coverage another concealer i love that i feel like is a little bit more dry skin and oily skin friendly because this is definitely very matte this is the milani conceal and perfect long wear concealer and I've gotten this in a highlighting shade. I've gotten it in light beige. And this one is in medium beige. This is 135 medium beige. So I use this to spot conceal. And this, you can see, is a flatter doe foot. It's one of those, like thinner skinnier wands this is great because you get a lot of product on the wand and it's very liquidy it's not as like pasty as this well no this is very liquidy it just applies very differently they're both very satisfying to apply this is like a nice like whoosh and this is like a nice like i'm not explaining any of this correctly but it's just one of those things that you have to kind of experience for yourself this is really beautiful a definitely more forgiving formula not as matte definitely more natural if you had to pick between the two and you're like oh i'm not really sure exactly what my skin type is definitely go with this one because it's also very creamy very easy to blend um and doesn't dry down nearly as quickly as this but they're both very creamy and excellent and then i want to give a mention to this as well because this is something that i do use quite often this is the jcat stay assurance water smealed smealed water sealed zero smudge concealer this is kind of like a middle between those two it's got like a, another doe foot applicator you can see a lot of product is just kind of contained in the divot um this one is a little bit pastier than these two it's not as creamy not as liquidy but it still gives you a nice amount of coverage and i don't find it to be as heavy as these two oddly enough like i don't know it's hard to explain again concealer differences can be very like minute but as you apply them like the experience in the application is really what makes all the difference so yeah but out of all of these three, if you had to only pick one because you just didn't know, I would go with the Milani one. I think it's the most Goldilocks out of all of them. Okay, moving on to powder. I only have two that I want to mention. First of all, this one is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I use this today under my eyes. I love it. I've bought this time and time again. These days, more often, I reach for the Ofra one, but because this is an affordable video, I obviously didn't want to mention that. But this is still such a beautiful formula. $5 from Essence. This is the shade 10 Baba Banana. I believe 
believe they have another shade as well um, for deeper skin tones but it's so brightening it lays so beautifully under the eyes i always use a separate under eye powder i always use a brightening powder underneath my eyes and also to set my t-zone i feel like it does help bring your skin forward i'm going to actually demonstrate a little bit to you right now but add a little bit more and you can see instantly this side looks like lifted and more mattified and smoothed than this side i'm just going to apply a little bit here it's such a great way to bring like your highlight areas forward and create more dimension in your face i cannot live without under eye brightening banana powder and this is such a good one and i will always love this one and then this is the pretty much the only other affordable powder that i wanted to mention because i was actually looking through my drawers and i don't really have that many affordable powders well correction i don't really have that many affordable powders that i still use except for this one and i know i've spoken about this in so many videos lately but this is like my new favorite powder <laughs> i can't get enough it's what i used today to set my face upon makeup application and then my friend and i went in the heat the 109 degree heat and took photos and i was sweating and it still looked beautiful and i also touched up with this when i got back to mattify my areas just a little bit but this truly leaves your skin so smooth this is the wet and wild photo focus translucent powder you get a huge thing which is kind of annoying to store in your drawer but obviously you definitely get your money's worth which is something to be grateful for um this does have talc in it which doesn't bother me but i know some people have a little bit of an aversion to talc i don't personally don't experience any irritation so it's fine and i just love how smoothing it is and because it's part of their photo focus line it's not going to give you flashback i've worn this out in flash photography i've been fine and look how much powder you get like so much it's so creamy so soft and it just blends into your skin i personally love using this you guys know with my velour puff to just really press into your skin and then your makeup is like pretty much like no i was gonna say bulletproof oh my god no it's not bulletproof it's definitely more locked in though and i love that even like on this brush like i used this today did a nice little sweeping when i got home to just kind of go over my oily areas i can't say enough good things about this powder it's so beautiful i just would be such a pain to travel with because it's so big so i don't think i would but quality wise and like affordability is a1 honestly i'm gonna mention some bronzers and contour so the only contouring thing i want to mention is this right here and it's pretty much the only like powder contour i truly have like in its own well this is like the most compact contouring kit i own this is the essence contouring duo palette in the shade 10 for lighter skin looks like this contours are definitely meant to be more of a gray tone as you can see right here this is definitely more cool tone because it's meant to sculpt your cheeks now i never use this side honestly i don't even know what i would use this side for i'm wondering if it's to highlight i don't know but i only use this powder right here and it's so creamy you do get a little bit of kick up when you dump your brush into the pan but that's because it is a soft powder and it blends out really really nicely i use this today with my new wet and wild spongebob brush which is so cute and i loved the look of this this is something that i bought in store at ulta recently and i love it it just gives you that nice chiseled look i always contour before i bronze because that way when i apply my bronzer i can kind of blend out the contour at the same time but this is really really good i personally think if you have to pick between bronzer and contour definitely go with bronzer it's much more versatile but this is so good and so affordable it's kind of like why not okay and then the two bronzers i want to mention are these two right here i have had these for a few years now and i still use and love them the lottie london tan time bronzer is so underrated you can get lottie london at ulta and i truly love this it's in the shade light medium and this is such a good like neutral to warm tone bronzer extremely creamy extremely pigmented but it's not gonna give you that harsh stamp it blends out so nicely this one is even softer than this in terms of formula this is the catrice sun glow matte bronzing powder for medium skin it's more warm than the lottie london tan time but still so beautiful like the lottie london you can see is a little bit more red this one's a little bit more orange i have the lottie london tan time on my cheeks today i'm also going to link below guys my corresponding collection videos i recently did a blush collection i've done a bronzer collection so just in case you want to see a little bit more context or more options that go outside of the affordable spectrum i will link those down below but i wanted to make this video like a dedicated affordable like great products video because i know a lot of you guys love affordable makeup as do i okay i have three brands of blush that i want to talk about that i feel are must-haves number one 
it's the Catrice. Again, I'm going to keep saying this. Reference my older video to see the other brands, the other affordable ones that I love. But anyway, this is the Catrice blush box in the shade bronze. This is honestly such a go-to blush of mine. It's so neutral, so beautiful, and it's that perfect, like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. If I'm going to do a red lip, if I'm going to do a brown lip, if I'm going to do blue eyeshadow, I'm going to do green eyeshadow. This blush will never go wrong because it is the most neutral guy ever and it's so beautiful it's waterproof sweat proof it's gonna last you a long time i don't think it's my longest lasting blush but it's still really nice the physician's formula butter blush is such a dream especially during this time of year you guys all know and love the physician's formula butter bronzer i don't have that anymore but i have this blush and this is in the shade vintage rouge i think this is such a beautiful oops not this i don't know who uses this let me know if you use this because i don't this is such a beautiful shade pink but very creamy has a muru muru butter for easy like blendability on your skin it is such a great product it smells good it's so cute it's like a great all-in-one especially for spring and summer i personally love this shade now the Burt's Bees blushes are also must-haves in my opinion because they have, I think, three different shades. I have two of them. I don't have Shy Pink. I have Bare Peach, which is a classic peach blush. So good. And then also Toasted Cinnamon, which is a beautiful, like, neutral bronze. Honestly, I don't have anything else like this in my collection. So if you had to pick between the two of these, go with Toasted Cinnamon because it is that most beautiful, neutral, like, shade. And I know I mentioned that the Catrice one is neutral, but this one is even more tawny like it's more cinnamon perfect like the name this is you can see is more like traditional rosy pink this is definitely more like um apricot it looks kind of like a bronzery blush but on the cheeks like i'll apply a little bit more for you on the cheeks so you can see it really does give your cheeks a nice amount of color and also something that you can do with warm or cool looks like it's not going to give you clown cheeks because the color is not pink but it's going to give you that nice flush that's going to make your face look like radiant and alive and healthy and i absolutely love this color so much i'm going to talk a little bit faster because uh we're running i this, this video is going to be so long but let's talk about my highlights this i feel like is a must-have product this is the catrice 3d glow highlighter and um this is in the shade 020 icy glaze patrice has a few different 3d glow highlights this one is very very bright and icy but you can see it kind of has a 3d effect to it but look how freaking blinding it's icy man this is white it's like white like very very frosty um i personally use it on my skin today and i really really like it a lot honestly even with my like medium tan skin right now like it's still gets the job done i don't know it just gives you a lot now obviously if you have very very deep skin this is not going to work but check out their other shades because i think the 3d glow kind of like technology it says yeah spilky smooth two-tone highlighter it's like very innovative i think you could find another shade that works for you if you have a deeper complexion um but it's just the 3d like glow to it that makes it unique and i think a must-have and then this is my og must-have oh shit i did accidentally dip my fingers in here oh no i took out a little bit of a chunk when i opened it but i'll just swatch it for you and show you this is the catrice um triple crown baked shadow this is an eyeshadow in the shade dolce de leche but i use this as a highlighter and this is always my traveling highlighter you get three different shades right here but you mix it all together like i just run my brush through it and i highlight and it just gives me the most beautiful glow so i literally can't live without this i always travel with it it is a must-have ha huh, okay we are done with the face products let's go into brows really quickly now i can't believe i didn't speak about this in my last video but you guys already know you guys already know the elf instant brow lift pencil is my favorite brow pencil of all time it's affordable it's two dollars it's extremely creamy i've gone through so many of these honestly i rotate through the shade deep brown and also neutral brown so good the spoolie is so durable and it's the easiest pencil like honestly when i started doing my brows and filling them in every day to go to work i did it with this pencil because it was always so easy to do i could do both brows in under a minute you just go in and just comb it through it's so forgiving the formula is very creamy and because it is very creamy it's not necessarily the most long lasting but for a day-to-day -day basis it gets the job done it's two dollars seriously cannot go wrong a must-have gel for me and i actually have two of these because i thought i had lost one so i was like i need to have this so i bought another so clearly it's a must-have this is the ColourPop brow boss gel in the shade dark brown these are both dark brown this is like my traveling combo you get a really nice brow gel very small and compact first of all they have different shades you can also get clear but look how small 
the wand is it's so easy to get your hairs and just no matter if you have bigger brows or thinner brows i think you could really use this it's going to give you texture it's going to give you volume it's going to give you those fibers to your brows that makes them look really really nice and feathery um but also very like defined and filled in this is the brow gel used on my brows today um and i absolutely love it it's so so good and again lots of different colors to choose from okay let's talk about eyeliners i have so many great affordable eyeliners but this one it truly feels like is a must-have for me and it's the most inexpensive this is the essence uh gosh see i even wore off the the writing on here because i've used it so much this is the extreme lasting eye pencil it's waterproof 16 hour wear easy glide formula this is in the shade 01 black is it black love this is just a black shade the easiest pencil to tight line your eyes with to line your waterline i love this and i love that when you put it on your waterline it gives you color right away it's not one of those ones where you have to like scratch it on a hard surface to like make it come alive again and then go in this is creamy from the very beginning really really long lasting and just such a beautiful formula and I think it's like $2, maybe three. Very, very affordable, highly recommend. The liquid liner that is a must have for me, it's pretty much the only liquid liner I've been using. It's the liquid liner I went in with today is the ColourPop liquid liner in the style numero uno. Oh my God, this is so easy to use. I just did the swoop right here. It's gonna dry down, it's not gonna budge. And once I try to wash off the rest of these swatches, it's going to be the last thing to go because it's so durable. Like, it's so good. I know a lot of people don't think it's the maddest of blacks, but I personally don't mind that at all. Like, I think this is mad enough for me. It's a really nice felt tip. It's not one of the ones where the ink is concentrated, like, on the lower end and not the tip where you have to really, like, try and you get streaky, like, marks. You know what I'm talking about? It gives you, like, nice, even swoops every time. Like, every time you press this on your eye, you're going to get payoff, which is something that I love. Very easy to work with well not easy liquid liners in my opinion are not easy at least for me but it's definitely an easier felt tip than a lot of the ones that i've tried in the past okay let's talk about lashes i want to mention my favorite affordable lashes and i talked about these in my amazon favorites which i will link above and below these are the Weewo Weewo Seo um false eyelashes you get a 14 pack for 10 bucks and you get so many of these it honestly puts like ardell and kiss to shame just kidding guys i still love them because you can get those at ulta and they have so many different fun styles but this is a style that i am wearing on my eyes right now it's very fluttery very dramatic but also not too dramatic like i can wear these out in the day and not feel like i have like curtains hanging over my eyes it gives my eyes just enough drama which I personally love and I want to mention that my favorite lash glue lash adhesive is this and I have repurchased this so many times honestly this is always the lash glue I go back to this is the kiss strip lash adhesive with biotin and blueberry by kiss It's a lash couture kiss has a regular lash glue and they have the lash couture lash glue which is a dollar more I personally think this one is better for a dollar more it's worth it um I like both they're both fine but I love a brush on tip and I love a clear adhesive more than I do a black one it just makes your lashes stay on all day like i've worn this out with really extreme desert winds and my lashes stay on and they don't go anywhere this glue just really keeps them in place which i love okay mascaras now i've spoken about essence mascaras in so many of my videos and honestly guys this is so weird but i don't have any affordable mascaras besides these essence ones and then this wet and wild one everything else is like Tarte, Marc Jacobs, Too Faced, It Cosmetics, uh, Thrive Cosmetics, Milk, Laura Geller. I guess I just have high-end mascaras, but Essence mascaras are the only mascaras that I really ever need in terms of like affordable ones. These truly are a must-have. I don't care that I've spoken about, you know, these before in the past. I think in my last one, I spoke about the Lash Princess Volume and Curl, but they've since come out with a new curling formula. This one currently is just a regular false lash effect. This one's really popular. I think this is like their most OG one. It's got that acorn tip. This one is my favorite lash. And in essence, I implore you to bring this back in stock. This is my favorite mascara of all time like literally i love the packaging too i love the formula this is the most dramatic formula ever it gives you truly super volume gives you curls gives you definition gives you length everything i even left a comment on their instagram and i was like please bring this back and they like liked it but i'm like i appreciate the acknowledgement but can we have some action lashes of the day bomb then the essence extreme curl and volume mascara this is a big daddy brush right here it's one of their like plastic brushes and you can see it's got like that spiky ball tip but man this is so good this is a great separating mascara 
says curl and volume, but it does give you a lot of like separation as well, which is odd and you wouldn't expect it from a brush that big, but hey. Essence mascaras, they just get the job done for such a good price and they're all like $4.99, so heck yes. Okay, let's talk about eyeshadow. Now, obviously, ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows. I have so many of them and I love these so much, but I wanna give a shout out to um, the JCAT Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousses. I only have these two currently. I'm currently wearing Chrome Galaxy on my lids right now. This is like a really pretty like um, foiled kind of like glitter topper. So beautiful. They have so many different shades and I definitely want to pick up more. But in terms of single shadows that are affordable, I want to give a nod to these because they just have so many great finishes and they give you that nice like statement look. This one in the shade gray later is so beautiful as well. This is definitely more moussey and pigmented than Chrome Galaxy. This one is gonna, oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's just like slate. I did an empties video where I wore this all over my eyes and it just made my eyes pop. It's so beautiful. I don't have anything else like it in my collection. So I think these are truly worth it. They're like five bucks a piece. Just get shades that you truly love. Get like some nice neutrals, some nice pops of color. And honestly, it's just the easiest way to elevate any look. Now in terms of palettes, I need to talk about obviously the BH Cosmetics 15 color shadow palettes. I don't even know if they still have these, but I still consider these to be some of the best affordable palettes ever. Like you get such beautiful shades. This one right here is L'Amour. It's really nice pinkies. Look at that matte, so beautiful. Really stunning matte and shimmery shades. Honestly, so beautiful, highly recommend. And then also Glam Reflections Gilded is what I used in my Hot Girl Summer makeup tutorial, which I will link below for you guys. But look, just so beautiful. Like the perfect like sunset summery kind of color scheme. You got really nice neutrals, transition shades, bronzes, cool tones. Like the blendability on these is so amazing. The pigmentation is beautiful. Seriously, some of the best palettes ever, ever. Like high-end and drugstore. I love the packaging. You could travel with them because they have a nice big mirror. So I always think these are a must-have. Like definitely, what's a must-have affordable eyeshadow palette? This, these right here. Way on the other end of the spectrum in terms of size are these right here. These are the e.l.f. Bite Size Shadows Cream and Sugar and Truffles. I've spoken about these so many times. I don't want to bore you guys, but these give you some of the best pigmentation. I always travel with these palettes because it just is the easiest way to elevate any eye look. Like, come on. The pigmentation on these is absolutely no joke. Like, no joke. And these are what, $4, $3? So easy to travel with, so beautiful. They also have a bunch of other different varieties if you want something that's not necessarily neutrals, but I love that each of them still manages to have like a cohesive color story. These are amazing um, and definitely must have, like for sure, like must have. All of these are must haves, which is why I'm glad I'm doing this video because there have been so many new launches since the last time I filmed this. Now, the only thing I don't have that's separate for you guys since that video are liquid lipsticks, I still, Think that the NYX liquid suede liquid lipsticks are the best at the drugstore. Currently have the shade Kitten Heels on my lips right now. So beautiful. The ColourPop Ultra Satin lips are also amazing, but I think they discontinued those. But in terms of bullet lipsticks, I think that the ColourPop bullet lipsticks are a must have. I honestly don't know what ColourPop has in stock versus not in stock anymore, but these are really, really good. Very beautiful, very creamy. Um, I have the shade Uno Moss. Let me swatch it right here. Very pretty peachy shade. Love this guy right here for the summer. I love Still Crazy. It's this one right here really pretty pink they're not matte finishes they're cream finishes but they're so nice this one is my favorite this one is in california love i travel with this one all the time this is considered a velvet blur formula so it's not gonna be as pigmented but i still think it's very pigmented like you can definitely build it up and it's so freaking beautiful i always travel with this i always do i don't know if it's because it's like california and when i go to california i'm like oh california love but it's the most flattering like neutral reddish brown which is my favorite kind of nude and works well with anything like if you're wanting to spice up your look you're missing a little bit of something on your lips california love is the answer and then i also love this this is part of their frozen 2 collection this is called going north also is one that i use a lot so beautiful 
it's a richer kind of deeper red you can see next to california love um so stunning and i love the packaging i love the feeling on your lips they're very comfortable but very pigmented definitely a must-have in my collection um i use these so much okay in terms of lip glosses i think ColourPop discontinued their ultra glossy lip which is a shame because i use and love so many but this is the gloss i'm actually wearing on top of kitten heels this is the ColourPop luxe gloss in the shade phoenix and you can see the all the writing is worn off because i keep this in my purse this is such a beautiful Beautiful, beautiful shade right here it's a really nice kind of like um champagne sparkle gold ish shade i'm sorry i have like a little bit of my lip color on here but this is such a beautiful formula i love how compact it is and it's very sticky but it lasts for so long like i've had this on my lips for four or five hours and it's even through eating it still maintains its tack that's why i love bringing it in my purse because when I, my lips are dry I just throw this on and I'm good for so long and I love this so much. Now, the Morphe lip gloss in the shade Pixie is another must have of mine. I cannot live without this. Seriously, this is one of the best lip gloss formulas point blank period and I love this color so much. This is like the perfect lip gloss formula, honestly. If I had to throw away like all of my brands of lip gloss and keep one, I would get this gloss and like a bunch of different colors. I mean, that's a big statement. I wouldn't want to, but I would definitely consider picking this over any of them and just get them in a bunch of different colors, shimmery and opaque, because it's not too thick, it's not too thin, it's not too sticky, but it's not too balmy. It's that perfect in between, and that's why I consider it a must have. Oh, lip liners. I don't wanna bore you guys because my must have lip liners are the ones that I just talked about in my lip video, so I will link that above and below. But Milani Spice Lip Liner, ColourPop BFF2 Lip Liner, and Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner are my three must haves. Go watch that video. I break them all down for you. I don't want to repeat myself too much because I know this video is already long, but those are my three and they're all affordable. So it works out perfectly for this video. Now, last but not least is setting spray. And I know I've spoken about this time and time again. This was in my last must have affordable makeup video. And honestly, guys, like I like the matte version, but I don't think it's a must have. I think this one is still the true champion. It gives you the best refresh and set even as someone with oily skin it gives you a nice natural finish the matte one i do like but if you don't shake it up enough the the nozzle can get clogged with like the mattifying ingredients so i don't love that as much i don't think this is a must-have honestly i think it truly if you have to pick one stick with the og version and i think you're golden all right everybody and that was it that's it for my um, must-have affordable makeup video round two. I hope you guys enjoyed this roundup of all of my favorite affordable makeup. I've mentioned these products on my channel before in various videos, but I thought I would do a sit down again and just show some dedicated love to the affordable makeup like greats in my life because I think affordable makeup makes the world go around. Like I said throughout this video, I will link my 2018 version, my first round of affordable makeup must-haves down below so you guys can see all the other products that I've loved and still continue to love and also the corresponding kind of like collection videos in case you want to see, okay, like this is a great blush, but like what about high end? So I go into more of that as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave me your affordable makeup must-haves in the comments below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye.